Wish that was English? Well, there's a way to change it, and I'm going to show you how. First of all, go into the B option. The B 本体設定 Look at the top right corner. If it says anything other than 4.3, insert a game that came out after June 2010, like Super Mario All Stars, Rhythm Heaven Fever, or Skyward Sword. These games have firmware 4.3 on the disc, allowing for easy installation. If you don't have a Japanese disc or your disc drive is broken, yeah, I don't know. Look it up somewhere else. After you insert the game, the disc channel will show a Wii System Update banner. Go through the dialog to update. You may have to do this more than once. It shouldn't take long. You'll know you're finished when the game shows up normally, and it says 4.3 in the top right corner of the settings menu. Now it's time for the SD card. Well, actually, not yet. First, you need to go to your internet and get the MAC address. You'll need it. Insert the SD card into your computer. Make sure it's formatted to FAT32. Go to please.hackme.com. Enter your MAC address. Make sure to bundle in Bootme. Pass the capture. Cut either wire. Extract the zip. Then place all its contents on the root of the SD. Now back to the Wii. Insert the SD card into the Wii. Oh, make sure you set your or else you won't be able to find the letter. Look around until you see it. Click on it and it'll load the installer. Install the Homebrew channel. Install the Bootme as Boot2 if it lets you. Then install the Bootme as iOS. When you're done, it should take you to the Homebrew channel. Turn off the Wii and put the SD card back in your computer. Next, download Preloader, Wii Mod Lite, and Nus Downloader. Extract the contents of the Preloader and Wii Mod Lite zips into the root of your SD card, making sure both apps folders merge. Open the Nus Downloader. Go to Database System, System Menu 4.3U. Make sure PackWad is enabled. Then click Start Nus Download. When it's finished, copy the Titles folder to the root of your SD card and rename it to Wad. Now let's go back to the Wii. With the SD card inserted, install Preloader. When that's done, turn off the Wii, then turn it on while holding the reset button. This should take you to the Preloader menu. Go to System Menu Hacks and turn on Block Disk Updates, Block Online Updates, and Region Free Everything. Save changes, then exit the Homebrew Channel. Open Wii Mod Lite. Go to Any Title Manager slash Any Region Changer, then Region Changer. Change the preset to USA, then press Load Preset, then press Save Preset. Then go back to the menu and select Wad Manager. Make sure you read from the SD card and open each folder until you find the Wad you downloaded with Nuss Downloader. Install it. When that's done, restart your Wii. If all goes well, you should have the US menu as default. One last step: reinstall Preloader because it uninstalled itself after you installed the US system menu. Go through the same steps as before and enable all the same menu hacks. Then you're done.